up on science. Washing time. Basically, I'm lazy. I mean, why would you walk up the stairs when you can throw things? Much more efficient. Whoa. This reminds me of the Rutherford experiment. See, Rutherford was a physicist about 100 years ago who was exploring the nature of matter. But instead of socks, he used alpha particles. And instead of a railing, he was using very thin gold foil. See, at the time, they discovered electrons and they knew that there must be something positive to balance that out in the foil. And they thought it was all sort of mushed together, a bit like this washing here. They called it the plum pudding model. So what he expected to happen was kind of a bit like this curtain, that alpha particles would get slightly deflected to the left or right, depending on whether they passed a positive or a negative part of the foil. But when he found that some actually bounced right back in his face, it blew his socks off. But most of them, even more strange, flew straight through without any deflection at all. Basically, he discovered the atom is mostly empty space with a very small positive charge right in the middle of it, the nucleus, which things occasionally bounced off, but mostly things pass straight through. So that means that you, me, this basket of washing are all a complete waste of space. So what would be much more efficient would be if our electrons were pulled into our nucleus, where they'd meet a proton and become a neutron. That's what happens in a neutron star. The gravity makes the pressure so high, everything collapses into neutrons. So this waste of space washing needs to be thrown into a neutron star. <laughs> Up on science. I know, I could go over the top. Yeah, that works better.